please hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you very much. Today we're going to talk about the Houston Texans. The Texans finished 4-12 and last year. That was despite Watson throwing for 300 plus yards in all but one of the last losses that they had. They had five straight losses to close out the season. In all but one, he threw for 300-something yards. This team is going to take a step back. Assuming that Watson has his legal issues and doesn't get to play, the quarterback's going to be Tyroid Taylor. Their running backs are going to be Philip Lindsay, Mark Ingram, David Johnson, which would have been a great set of running backs five years ago. They've got Brandon Cooks and Chris Conley and Kiki Kutri at wide receiver. Brandon still got 1,000 yards last year, 1,150 yards. From a fantasy relevance point, I don't see much here. I see you're going to take one of the starting running backs, and I think they're going to split carries, so even that's not going to be a very good good thing. Tyro Taylor's going to be a good, competent quarterback, so you're not going to have one of the situations where there's no one throwing the ball. So I would definitely take Brandon Cooks. Conley has just been too inconsistent. I don't think the talent there is on the wide receiver or the offensive line. This team's a bad team. They're headed to a top 5-10 pick. Um, their defense isn't going to bail them out. And and just really, they weren't even competitive at the end uh, of last year. So I see them winning four or five games this year again. Um, I do think that someone from this group, Tyroid Taylor, one of the running backs, which is, again, Lindsey Ingram or Johnson, is going to rise up and just get sheer volume and get a, a decent fantasy number. But this is not going to be a good good year for the team. Um, again, fantasy relevance, I would take a flyer on Brandon Cooks. I probably wouldn't draft him thinking he's going to get 1,150 yards. I think that's going to come down some. Um, and then keep an eye on whoever is a starting running back. Um, I think it's going to be Lindsey. I'd keep an eye out on Johnson just in case he overcomes all of his injuries, but I think at this point it's too late, and I think Ingram's just over the hill.